The World Roller Skating Championship started in Tokyo today, and among the contestants bidding for a place at the top were two young hopefuls from Great Yarmouth. Ashley Moore and Lynn Mansorp train at the National Roller Skating Centre at Bury St Edmunds, where John Myatt met them before they flew out for their assault on the world title. Ashley Moore and Lynn Manthorpe both live in Great Yarmouth, train at the Roller Drome in Bury St Edmunds and compete all over the world. There was just a week to polish technique between the European Championships in West Germany, where they both achieved fourth place in the individual events, and the Tokyo World Championships, where they're both aiming for a place in the top ten. National coach Jocelyn Taylor is Ashley's mother, and he's the British champion. But 17-year-old Lynn Manthorpe, a pupil from a very young age, is an emerging talent. She benefits from training regularly with Ashley, although they don't skate as a pair. Not long out of school, the extra time she can now spend is showing in more confidence and improved results. Ashley is already the John Curry of British roller skating. He's matching the Continentals in adapting to the big leaps which are coming into the sport from ice skating, and he's bringing a grace and choreographic skill previously absent. It's all done by hard work. It's a sacrifice, really, of all your time. There is no, um, and there's nothing outside of skating. You have to be here and practice several hours a day, every day, if you're going to make it, and there's no social life. There. Do you think the sport is gaining acceptance now? Is it beginning to be felt as to be on a par with ice, do you think? Most definitely, and more since Rollerberry opened, because you get more people coming here, because it's such a good place to come. And what you can do on rollers seems to be expanding. I mean, you seem to be able to do most things that can be done on ice. Well, yes, I think now at international level, certainly, the triple rotation jumps are pretty much standard, as they are on ice. Do you think you might change to that sport eventually? I hope that I won't have to choose between them. I enjoy doing both very much. It's very difficult at the moment putting both the uh, competition schedules in and, of course, the practice time um, for both. It's difficult enough just practicing for one sport, but for both of them, it's making life very difficult. But I hope I continue doing. I hope I can continue doing both. There's still no doubt, though, isn't there, that, that ice skating is the one that's got the glamour. Oh yes, very much so. It's got a lot more television coverage. With roller skating too in the past, it used to be always in a dusty old hall or somewhere where it wasn't very nice for the television crew to go and it didn't look as presentable. But now with facilities like we have here at Rollerberry, maybe things might change and it'll catch up. <laughs> National coach Jocelyn Taylor is delighted at the improvement in British performances and the way our young roller skaters are respected all over the world. We travelled to Texas last year for the World Championships. This year they're going to Japan, to Tokyo in fact. Junior skaters have been to Italy and Denmark. Senior skaters have been to Germany and Italy. So it really is very interesting. How do we rate then worldwide? Uh, in Europe we rate the third best country and in the world's last year we were fourth. Many other countries trying to press us out of that position. Germany, Italy and America being the leading countries really. Bury St Edmunds is the mainspring of a British challenge to the world of roller skating with Ashley Moore and Lynn Manthorpe right up there among the best in the world. And we've just heard that after the first day's events, Ashley's lying in seventh place and Lynn ninth in their respective competitions.